got nothing against rehab. I don't have anything against none of that. But I do believe the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit is able to change anybody's life. I don't care what kind of life it is. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what kind of lifestyle it is. The power of God can change anybody. If you want to be changed, tell your neighbor you got to want to be changed. Oh, he's power in the church. Can I get a witness in here? You ought to be able to walk in the house of God and, and know they're in a different atmosphere. There ought to be something about this place that when you walk in here, you ought to know, you ought to feel something different. You ought to know that something is going to happen. When you walk into the house of God, you ought to come in expecting God to do something miraculous. The problem is we don't expect God to do anything. Said 
to him. Do you hear these things they are saying? And Jesus said, Have you never read out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants? You have perfected praise. Now, I wondered how these children, where did these children learn to praise him? Well, the Bible doesn't say. But these are my comments. I believe they were imitating what they saw their parents did. If you want your children to pray, they ought to see you pray. Can I get a witness in here? If you want your children to learn how to praise God, let them see you praising Him. Can I get a witness in here? But isn't it strange that the children praise Him? But those who were the religious elite were indignant toward Him. They couldn't handle the fact that people were praising Jesus and that children were doing the same thing. They were also angry because Jesus had upset their merchandising in enterprise. Can I get a witness in here? And so they were indignant that that was anybody that should have been praising. It should have been people serving in the temple. If anybody should have been praising, it should have been the people who knew the law. Can I get a witness in here? I'm not leaving. But the Bible says Jesus left them and went out into the city of Bethany and he lodged there. Now this was nothing strange because every night Jesus went to Bethany where his disciples were staying and he lodged there. But Matthew's gospel means more than this. It's a warning of a final withdrawal by the one who many religious people will reject. If you want to have Jesus, if you reject Jesus, he will go his way. But when he goes, light, light, and the only hope of salvation will go with him. Can I get a witness in here? That's the reason I've decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow him. I've decided to go with him all the way. Because when he comes into my life, Church that is concerned about people, about 
looks at me. And maybe today you're saying, I have received the Lord Jesus as Lord and Savior. This is a good place. This is a good time. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if that you would just step out from where you are. Make your way down this aisle and come and connect to not just with this building, not just with this group of people, but with the Lord of Lords. If that's you, come on. Maybe you're saying I'm saved, but I've strayed in my relationship with God. As our, our, our pastor has so eloquently explained, we all messed up at some point or other. But one thing I love about our God, He'll take you from where you are and put you right where He wants you to be. If you're that person that says I'm saved, but I've strayed in my relationship with God and I'm going to reconnect my life to the Lord today. If that's you, would you come? Would you come? Come on. Come on. Come on, let's give God praise for the saints. Come on. If that's you, would you come? I just feel in my spirit there are about to get a couple of more your feet to make this walk. Alright, if you're saved, and you say, I want to connect to this ministry. Jesus, but after everything I've been through, after COVID, I need to be under a covering that can feed me spiritually, that can cover me spiritually. Friend, this is a good place. If that's you, you say, I want to connect to this ministry, step out from where you are. Come on. Come on. Come on. Will you come? Will you come? Will you come? Now is not the time to be shamed, bashful, or fearful. If that's you, come on. One last call. Maybe you say, I'm not sure if I want to make this my church home. But one thing is for sure, I hear God speaking to me. I can sense God blessing me here. Can I just hang out with you until I make a decision? Sure you can't if that's you. Come on. Come on. No pressure applied if that's you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. Come on, church. They're still coming.
Jesus. Jesus.